How you doing, everybody out there on YouTube? Special shout out to all my subscribers and friends. <laughs> Just messing with you. So, a um, couple of things I wanted to mention. Um, you know, these things have been swirling around and um, I wanted to uh, just touch upon them. Looks like HR 1388, which is the Give Act Generations Invigorating Volunteerism and Education Act. Um, the brainchild of Obama and Mr. Emmanuel, who has coincidentally written a book, I believe, about um, these uh, this uh, s mandatory civilian program programming. Um, has passed the House, 321 to 105, I believe, which is pretty strong, and uh, I don't see any major um, opposition from the Senate. Looks like this uh, this bad boy is probably going to push on through. Um, there's some interesting language in this bill. Uh, some people I've seen have. Uh, called it disturbing. I am not easily disturbed. So, um, but, uh, you know, it, it does mention, uh, uh, what, did, what did President Obama mention? He promised a civilian national security force or something like that. Um, I guess it's, uh, you know, some of the sections of the bill mention certain duties and, um, It talks about uh, fair and reasonable mandatory service requirements for young people. Um, <laughs> what did it, what's it say? It would strengthen the social fabric of the nation and overcome civic challenges um, by bringing together people from a diverse economic, ethnic, and educational background. So I'm all for people coming together, man. Um, it is what it is, you know. And... Um, I think I think it's wonderful if you're willing to invest your time or be willing to give for the sake of doing it for the betterment of the infrastructure of the country for the betterment of fellow human beings quality of life I mean there's probably a little bit of some self-serving interest there um, but I, these mandatory these government passed mandated um, this uh, a government mandated civilian assistance program. It just doesn't jibe with me, man. I <laughs> because it comes from the government mainly, but you know I, we have these we have the technology and some of the things that um, that keep us isolated from each other. Uh, you know, obviously we're we're isolated. We you know we have jobs that that keep us busy, and we have you know all of these other things, families, personal life. We. We report and research and do these kinds of things that we do. You know, we we have our, our homes, which are like our little castles, and we, we, we get these comfort levels. Um, a lot of people get these comfort levels because they get inundated with all of this shit, you know. And I'm not going to go off on a tirade about Starbucks and American Idol and all of that, because we all know that that's, that's there. And we have these little distractions that isolate us. And, um, and it... it it sucks the empathy um, out of us for other individuals and the willingness to, you know, care. Um, you know, it, it takes out the, it takes, uh, it takes our altruism. And it takes an altruistic uh, um, element out of the picture for us sometimes. I think. So, you know, I'm all for people doing things for the sake of other people. Um, but this government mandated stuff is just it just doesn't jibe with me um, also uh, oh yeah in, in this company um, I guess it's AmeriCorps uh, AmeriCorps.org AmeriCorp.org I guess was uh, created um, to uh, all of these community domestic community service programs that were signed, set up by uh, Clinton for this National and Community Service Trust Act and back in '93, was all put under the umbrella of one central organization, and um, 
you know, AmeriCorps uh, is a company that's going to be associated with this, uh, in, uh, in large part with this uh, um, Give Act. I guess the stimulus package had um, had some pretty uh, had a f uh, like two, I don't know, a few million dollars, or maybe it was uh, I don't know, who knows, maybe it was two hundred million dollars. I don't remember exactly uh, what it was. Let me pull up their page really quickly. The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, yeah, signed into law by President Obama, included $201 million in funding for the Corporation for National and Community Services, um, basically to support AmeriCorps. So they're getting a lot of a lot of money here. Hopefully it will be distributed and, and, and put to proper use, but we can't really... Uh, can't really necessarily expect that now, can we? Um, uh, another uh, interesting piece of information: the Feds buy up 1.2 trillion in bonds, securities. The Federal Reserve has announced a massive new government intervention in the U.S. economy. The Fed says it will buy up 1.2 trillion in government bonds and mortgage-linked securities to free up the frozen credit market. The purchases will increase the Fed's holdings in financial markets to 3 trillion, an increase of 50 percent. Hmm such a large private banking organization that the Fed is or owned by private banks um, increases their wealth go figure and subsequently increases their power um, the new mortgage securities purchase will account for more than half of the new spending at 750 billion that's on top of the 500 billion in securities previously bought According to the analysts at Wachovia Bank, the federal government could end up funding up to 70% of mortgages issued this year. Hey, I got an idea. Let's give a little assistance to the people who need it to help pay their mortgages so they can be back into the system and the banks can get their money and the government's not paying for more mortgages. So, and uh, don't be fooled. They, they, they try to link the Federal Reserve and the federal government together. And these guys, the Federal Reserve, you know, it's a private organization. I mean, they have, they're supposed to report in some ways um, dealings, but they don't provide anything. We've seen it. They withhold the, you know, all kinds of information. Um, and they don't, and they're not being held accountable for it at all. So, fuck the Fed. Um, and just to do a little piggyback about something that Ted uh, Tenebroust mentioned before. Uh, the 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 bonuses for AIG I know it's all over the place but you know Christopher Dodd is such a douche you know uh, claiming that he inserted the provision of protecting you know the contractually guaranteed bonuses um, because of because he was told by someone in the Obama administration to do so and had he known that AIG was getting uh, these bonuses he would not have done it um, I, I don't believe you, Senator Dodd. I don't believe many of you. Um, these, unfortunately, it's a um, it's like collateral damage. Your integrity, your um, your sense of honesty and purpose, to to some degree at least, uh, is sacrificed, is destroyed, is squashed. Um, it's compromised when you uh, get involved in government, or at least the government system, governmental system that we currently have. Um, it's fucking broken, people. So, you know that that's I firmly believe that. Um, no matter wh how good your intentions are when you get in, you have to sacrifice so many things that there's there's corruption about, and you have to decide what's the least corrupt thing you can do and get away with. Um, it's fucking ridiculous. So, I don't believe Christopher Dodd. I think he's a lying douche. And so should you. No. Um, so that was, that was about it. There's, you know, plenty more to discuss. Um, but, uh, I think that's about it for now. So, comment, respond, uh, provide your feedback. I love it. Thanks. Peace.